In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to find the second lowest number in an array. So first we'll make our test array. We'll say int a is equal to 98765 and then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this array here, 1 is going to be the second lowest number because 0 is the lowest number. So we'll write a function in C that's going to find and return the second lowest number. So we'll say int second lowest and the function is going to accept an array as an argument and the length of the array as an argument. And we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And what the function is going to return is the actual value itself. So what is the second lowest number in the array? And the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to loop through this array one element at a time. So we're going to look at one element at a time. And as we do, we're going to keep track of the lowest number in the array so far and the second lowest number in the array so far. And there's two big cases we're gonna to have to handle. One is if we encounter a number that is lower than the lowest number, we're actually gonna make that number the new lowest number, and we're gonna make the previous lowest number the second lowest number. And they effectively get bumped up one each essentially. The other case we've gotta handle is that we encounter a number that is lower than the second lowest number, but higher than the lowest number. So it's sort of in between the current two lowest numbers. If that's the case, we just make that the new second lowest number. Now we're also gonna have to find an initial lowest number and initial second lowest number. So we're actually gonna look at the first two numbers in the array, and we're gonna determine which one is the lowest number and which one is the second lowest. And then we'll start examining the array from here on to the end of it. So we'll make variables min1 and min2. And min1 is going to keep track of the lowest number. And min2 is going to keep track of the second lowest number. And so here we'll say if a0 is less than a1, then a0 is the lowest number. So we'll say min1 is equal to a0. And we'll say min2 is equal to a1. Otherwise, we're going to do it the other way. And we'll say min1 is equal to a1. Min2 is equal to a0. So we've come up with the best order we can for these two numbers here. And we've, we've established that one of them is the lowest number. The other is the second lowest number. If they're both the same, it'll actually still work out OK anyways when we go through the remainder of the array. So now we're going to make the loop that's going to go through the remainder of the array. So we'll say for int i is equal to 2, i is less than the length, i plus plus. And so this loop is going to go through the remainder of the array. And that's why we start i off at 2 here, because we're going to start off at this position onwards. And what we're going to do is check for those conditions we talked about. So if a at i is less than min 1, that means we have a new lowest number. And if we have a new lowest number, the current lowest number is going to become the new second lowest number. So what we'll do is we'll say that min2 is equal to min1. So the current lowest number becomes the new second lowest number. And then we'll say here that min1 is going to be equal to a at i because this number is replacing the old lowest number. Then we'll handle the other case where a at i is less than min2. So it's lower than the second lowest number, but a at i is also higher than the lowest number. So this is the case where it's in between the two. So the number we're looking at is in between the second lowest number and the lowest number. And if that's the case, we don't have to worry about replacing both numbers, but we do have to replace the second lowest number. So we do have to say that min2 is equal to a i. And then once we've gone through the entire array in this loop, min2 is going to be set to the second lowest number in the array. So we can just return min2. So let's actually give this function a test now. We'll call it with a, so we'll say second lowest, and we'll give it a as an argument and 10. And then we'll print out the result. We'll say printf second lowest, and we'll output what we get back. So we'll save this. We'll compile it and we'll run it. And then we get back one. And that's exactly the right answer because one is the second lowest number in the array there. 
And so we've written a program in C that can find the second lowest number in an array.